Virtual Desktop Infrastructure, or VDI, and Desktop as a Service, or DAS, let organizations remotely interact with their virtual desktops and their apps and any device to work more efficient, to enhance management capabilities, and also to improve your security. I'm here today with Shira Rubinov. She's a cybersecurity executive, she's an author, and she's an advisor. And, and we're going to discuss the difference between VDI and DAS from operation, but also security and from cost perspective. Welcome, Shira. Thank you for having me, Ronald. Yeah, great to have you on the show. Yeah, first, I want to thank Citrix for facilitating this conversation to discuss the difference between VDI and DAS and the importance of security, of course. So let me start with a short explanation. So if we look to VDI, VDI are desktop operating systems that are self-managed and they deliver consistent streamlined experiences with your applications, but also your operating systems and your shared tools. And DAS, DAS is a, a VDI solution. Um, however, it's, it's different in that it can host and it can manage and it can provide access to your virtual desktops using the cloud. So DAS is, is simplified, meaning that um, a business doesn't need to configure individual desktops or manage servers or prepare um, a data center, for example. And there's less stress on the IT department as well because maintenance is offloaded to the service provider. So DAS is also scalable because it's a cloud solution and it's very modernized and it's helping businesses to get rid of their legacy and traditional infrastructure so they can implement new applications and technologies very quickly. So there are differences between VDI and DAS as well. So first of all, if you look to the flexibility and the scalability, so on-premises VDI are tailored to the business needs, and this puts more stress on your IT resources. And DAS, on the other hand, is more flexible, and it helps you to meet the current and the future business needs. And I believe this, this summarizes the differences as well. So Shira, if you are a security expert, and if you look from, from your perspective, can you share your insights on the differences between on-premises and cloud from a security perspective? Certainly. So as we know, the cloud security is becoming increasingly popular, but, uh, but on-premises, or as they refer to on-prem, they also retain a vital role. So each solution, as everything else, has its advantages and disadvantages. So on-prem security refers to um, both the rules and the tools to protect the security and accessibility of the computer networks and the organizations would be responsible for that, both from hardware and software perspective, meaning firewalls, uh, software, like let's say VPNs, antivirus, all that, they would be fully responsible for that. And in with cloud, we talk about for most businesses, implementing the necessary measures for on-premise is so costly it's almost impossible unless your business has multiple offices, 24 seven access security team, unlimited budget really, if you're talking about let's have complete security with no issues whatsoever. And cloud storage is more secure than on-prem storage in, in many ways. So the security of the cloud versus on-premise is a very key consideration in debates that are going on with organizations today. And many large organizations, if not all of them at this point, are migrating towards cloud. So cloud security controls have been historically considered less robust than on-prem ones, but cloud computing is no longer a new technology. As we now know, it's, it's the basis of many organizations' uh, security. And a company running its own on-premise servers, they have to retain more complete control over their security. They're responsible, as I was mentioned, to setting up the appropriate user access policies firewalls, antivirus, uh, ensuring that updated security and patching happens promptly and guarding against cyber attacks. And the degree, this degree of control can be somewhat of a double-edged sword. Um, for businesses with appropriate IT support, the on-premise solutions, they give companies confidence that their servers are locked down completely and they don't need to trust another company with their private data. Um, on the other hand, it can also leave an organization vulnerable to security threats. So one of the things that can help is network segmentation can actually help this cause, which is a huge security advantage the cloud has over on-premise uh, servers and infrastructure. It segments uh, from user workstations. And the most common ways that attacks and attackers get into the networks is through the human factors piece, something I talk about quite a bit, 
which uh, utilizing the human factors and getting into something, gaining access to somewhere uh, through maybe phishing attacks, uh, emails, uh, threats. And these attacks almost and almost always enter through workstations. So what a lot of organizations are actually doing is a hybrid cloud solution, which is almost a combination of both. Um, and it's sometimes called, you know, hybrid cloud. And it's a computing environment that combines an on-premise environment and data center, um, also called the private cloud, with a public cloud, allowing the data and applications to be shared between them. So they have a little bit of best of both worlds. Crystal clear. I really like how you have this complex domain and you make it simple, uh, look like simple like this. And you were talking about cost. Um, maybe it's time to, to dive a little bit deeper into this cost, associated cost from a VDI and from a DAS perspective. If you look to VDIs, they have a lot of um, upfront expenses, as you were mentioning already, uh, to set up servers, uh, to uh, set up a data center or to host the virtual desktops. But this can potentially result in yeah, substantial savings, at least at what um, companies think it can in the long run. If you look to, to DAS, they have some initial setup costs and fees as well, but the upfront costs are, are much lower. As DAS is a subscription model, um, it's more flexible option and it helps organizations to scale and also to make changes um, as their investment evolve. And you were referring already, there's, there's so much change during the pandemic um, and the environment will change. So your investments need to change all the time. DAS also, what we see, it reduces the hardware costs and it reduces by optimizing the resources a business already has while building this um, up their own infrastructure in the cloud, which makes it more efficient as well. But let me share some, some metrics as well. Um, if you look to DAS, software updates and maintenance are handled by the service provider. So there's no or much less resource drain on your um, IT department. And the IT efficiency is improved by 10% as there's no time or limited time intensive setup processes anymore. And because of this, um, it's also easy to use. So it's much easier to use for the end users. And there, there are 33% less help desk calls and um, call times are cut in half as well. So there's tremendous saving, cost savings in this domain as well. And lastly, I think um, employers are 5% more efficient. And this is because of the connection is more reliable and they have access to the tools and the information they need um, all the time. So if we look from a security perspective, what kind of difference do you see between cloud and on-premises solutions? Um, can you explain and share some examples maybe? Certainly. So I'd actually like to tie it again, believe it or not, back to the human factors piece. If you think about what I mentioned before, you have to have utilization of more people involved. If you think about the on-prem uh, cost, you have to couple everything together with, let's call it a more, you have to uh, set up extra electricity, the HVAC systems, you have to run, the, you're running servers that have significant expenditures, but think about also the people that have to maintain that. Um, your costs are enormous to maintain this type of infrastructure for an organization. In terms of cloud, you have your monthly fee and you don't have to worry about maintaining, setting up, having these outright expenditures. And they say somewhat over time, it can equalize each other, but in terms of having it in the cloud, you don't have that initial massive expenditure that could increase as your organization increases. So for example, if you have an organization that has X amount of people, you understand what your needs are for on-prem, but as your organization grows, your expenditure grows as well. And it could, that could be significant. And you have to maintain that and maintain it regularly or else you won't have the right type of security around that and your costs go up. And with cloud, then that extra bit is not going to change much for an organization if their employees increase, even if it's uh, minimal or substantially, um, the, the cost is not that much greater. Summarize it very well. On one hand, there's a lot of change currently in this digital world. It's becoming a remote hybrid world. Um, VDI could be a great choice if your company has a stable growth and can handle the cost and the resources and, and the deployment and the maintenance all the time which are not so many companies, as you mentioned already. But if your company needs to be agile, if they need to be prepared for the future technolog technological evolution, that might uh, be the best choice. I would like to thank Citrix for hosting our conversation today. And thank you, Shira, for your great perspective on security and your clarification and simplification of this 
complex domain. And for the audience, thank you for watching. And we really looking forward to seeing you next time.